Before watching the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and enable bell notification to never miss an update from us. Hello friends, welcome to Entry. I am Mirza Atisham, a quant educator and today I am going to discuss a very important schemes which have been provided by Government of India. Look at this. Which ministry has provided this kind of scheme? Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. So basically it all depends on you, how you are looking at this initiative of Government of India. Because every scheme you need to understand. So basically this revolves around the common people. So I have brought you some very interesting topic in today's video. So must watch this video and I will discuss all three initiatives which have been started by Government of India and its ministry. So you will get the benefit. All right, because as you know that the government is for people and uh, people is for government. So you just have to understand these three initiatives. And in this video, I'll discuss each and every part. So let's start and let's see what the three initiatives are like. Look at this, the nurturing, the nurturing neighborhoods challenge. Okay. What are the nurturing neighborhood challenge? I will discuss it in the next sheet. Okay. The data maturity assessment framework an online training program for city data officers, that means CDOs. It will be called as CDOs in short during an event. Got that? So these are the three headlines of what initiatives which have been done by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. All right, it has launched. Look at this. <clears throat> what is the nurturing neighborhood challenge? What is this? As you can clearly see that uh, you will have to look at your neighbors as well. Okay, look at this. It is a three year initiative. Basically, it is a three year initiative that will support cities developing. All right, look at this. What is the difference between developing and developed? Okay, what is the difference between? Uh, just a minute. What is the difference between developing and developed? There is a clear difference. Developed is like USA and uh, developing means India and China. So you can clearly see that we are developing country. Okay, all right. And China is already developed. Okay. So it is a three year initiative that will support cities developing pilot and scale solutions that enhance the quality of the young children. Okay. So basically they look at your what infants, their caregivers and families in the public realm. So basically it all depends on family health. All right. The challenge is conducted with the support of Bernard Van Leer Foundation. So you have to remember the foundation Bernard, La Bernard Van Leer Foundation. All right. It belongs from Netherlands with the technical backing from WRI India through the challenge. Selected cities will receive technical assistance and capacity building to reimagine parks and open spaces. So basically, they will, some of the cities will get to, what? Technical assistance. For what? For what? You can clearly see that for to building reimagine park. Reimagine park. All right. And open spaces. So basically, they are providing you an open atmosphere so you can excel or enhance in that as for atmosphere all right building to reimagine parks and open spaces improve access to early childhood childhood facilities so basically they were focusing on early childhood of kids okay all right childhood oriented amenities the challenge will be open to all smart cities the challenge will be open to all smart cities which have been uh, announced by government of India. Other cities with more than 5 lakh population. So the criteria will be its population has to be more than what 5 lakh. All right. And capitals of state and duties. Are. So this is basically what nurturing neighborhood challenge means. They are focusing on technical superiority and uh, what young children young children's health so these are the things you need to look at that and uh, which foundation is supporting bernard v bernard van leer foundation uh, of netherland all right <laughs> a 
and technical banking will be provided by WRI. Next, the Data Maturity Assessment Framework, DMAF. What is DMAF? DMAF Cycle 2 will support cities in creating a culture of data. So basically they are focusing on data. All right. Of what? Under the Data Smart Cities Initiative of Smart Cities Mission. So basically they will gather all the data for smart cities. All right. Smart cities. Smart cities data has to be gathered, gathered under this scheme. Okay. This framework's core objective is to enable cities to access their data maturity concerning a standardized framework covering aspects of enabling policies. So basically they will look at the data which will help help them what implementing implement the government scheme. All right. So they will gather this kind of data. All right. Governance structure, data management, capacity building and stakeholder engagement at the city level. All right. So basically at city level, they will provide or you can say they will collect the data. Okay. This is expected to play an enabling role in democratizing the data culture for open innovation. Look at this open innovation. That means you have to be innovative, collaborative, co-creative and academic researcher. All right. So all these things will be related under the data maturity assessment framework where you will look at your smart cities and you'll gather the data which have been, uh, you will gather the data of government of India's scheme implementation and innovation, collaboration, co-creation and academic researchers will include it in this kind of framework. Okay. The assessment for this cycle has been expanded to include cities other than smart cities. So it just not, uh, it's just not goes to smart cities. It goes beyond the smart cities. That means other cities, tier one, tier two, tier three, all the cities can be in this form of assessment. All right. So this is the cycle two will support cities in creating a culture of data. All right. Next, the CDO training program, the third one, CDO, M O H U A, Ministry of, all right, <coughs> Housing Urban Affairs, has partnered with Tata Trust to launch a six week guided e learning course called Enabling Data Driven Decision Making in Urban Local Bodies. All right, which, which organization they, they have partnered? Tata Trust. All right, so for Tata Trust, it has to collect, as you know, that Tata is the biggest trust or the most profitable private organization in this country. All right. So you need to understand that its reputation will bring some quality. That's why Government of India or Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has have partnered with Tata Trust. All right. Specifically designed for city data officers. That means CDOs appointed in the 100 smart cities. So they will gather all the things. All right. All the things means data. They will collect data related to smart cities. There were lots of things, whether the schemes are implementing properly, implemented properly or not. And the quality of the schemes have been managed by the government of India or not. So these are the data which have been collected by Tata Trust. Okay. CDOs to basically who will collect CDOs. City data officers, they will collect the data of 100 smart cities which have been announced by government of India. CDOs to basic and advanced data collection tool, analysis and visualization. CDOs will also understand practical data driven governance principles and show how to create actionable data policy. So basically they will guide you as well. All right. They will guide the government of India or whichever the CDO. All right. So basically their approach is very good. All right. And these three schemes are to improve the smart cities in one of the scheme or other cities in the other scheme. All right. So basically it's for all the cities, but they, they are majorly, they are majorly focusing on smart cities. Why? Because they know that 
this these cities can excel very well that's why they have announced such large number of smart cities in this country all right so here is why use entry app for banking exams okay look at this why because you'll be getting lots of things live exam analysis and all the banking courses videos will be available on this app all right look at this look at the video classes banking foundation course crash course prelims course and one more thing we have recently announced mains course as well so you can look at mains course and learn the things all right look at this look at the all look at all the video classes in in almost all the languages okay and you can give test as well as you know that the speed test plays a very important role in developing your what uh, developing your specialization all right so in banking examination you can clearly see that we are, we are providing sbi clerk lic ibps so sbi po rrb assistant so basically all for all the examinations you will be getting all the information on a single app named as entry okay you can download it from play store look at this <clears throat> these are the things you will be getting all right day by day day wise day wise classes which would help you enhance your skills and look at the monthly current affairs banking awareness all the things will be available all right so that's it from my side guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you like it share comment and subscribe our youtube channel till then thank you keep watching entry